This is the perfect example of companies intentionally misleading you to sell you a product that you don't need. One of the latest trends right now is to use one of these medical devices called a continuous glucose monitor to, as the name suggests, continuously monitor your glucose or blood sugar levels. It's actually pretty cool. It's a medical device used by diabetics who need to keep track of their blood sugar levels. You see, diabetics either can't produce a hormone called insulin or their body has stopped responding efficiently to insulin. Insulin is responsible for regulating your blood sugar, which means that when when diabetics eat, their blood sugar levels can get super high, and since they can't produce insulin or it doesn't work as effectively in their body, this can lead to acute hyperglycemia and a whole bunch of bad things that happen in the body, like a mild case of deadness. Now that sounds scary, but it doesn't apply to you if you're not diabetic. Usually, diabetics would use either a finger prick blood test or one of these monitors to give them accurate readings on their blood sugar, so they know if it's getting too high or too low and how to dose your insulin medication accordingly to keep things in check. Companies like this one will try to mislead you into believing that it's your blood sugar levels or insulin levels that are keeping you from losing body fat or being healthy. They'll say things like, chronically elevated insulin levels have been shown to lead to fat storage and weight gain and obesity, which they haven't. Then they'll take this fake science and turn it into using a medical device and their proprietary software to help you finally unlock the secret to fat loss and metabolic health. I mean, look at this. I could eat a lemon cookie and see my blood sugar going up, or I could eat the lemon cookie with some nuts and my blood sugar won't rise as much. This means that the lemon cookies are bad and I have to add in more food to stabilize things because the goal is to always have a stable blood sugar response all the time. But that's not the goal. And here's why. This entire product and marketing is based on a heavily outdated and heavily disproved theory known as the insulin hypothesis. The theory goes that when you eat carbohydrates, you increase blood sugar, which then causes an increase in insulin to help to regulate that high blood sugar, which turns off fat oxidation or the burning of fat for energy. The more your blood sugar remains elevated, the more your insulin levels are elevated, and the more you turn off fat burning and get fat. This fits very nicely into why you need this fancy continuous glucose monitor and this custom proprietary app technology to monitor your blood sugar levels if you want to be healthy and lose weight. The issue is this theory has been heavily debunked time and time again. Research has shown that consuming a high carb diet or a low carb diet will both result in similar amounts of weight loss, despite carbohydrate intake being significantly higher and insulin and blood sugar levels also being significantly higher from this, and eating a high carb diet won't lead to insulin resistance. There is literally no reason for any healthy individual to need to monitor their blood glucose levels like this. But companies like this would prefer to create a problem that doesn't exist and package it up in a way that sounds scientific to the general population and market it to sell a product that you don't need. What does make a big difference for improving metabolic health and weight management is controlling your energy intake and staying physically active. Companies and products like this create a lot of issues because spreading misinformation like this adds a layer of unnecessary complexity and extra barriers to people being able to take charge of their health and their bodies. Instead of focusing on what really matters, like building healthy habits and lifestyles around exercise and energy balance, it has people now worrying about things that don't make a difference at all. And it also promotes something that's completely the opposite of what you actually need to do. Adding eggs and avocado to your turkey sandwich might lead to lower glucose levels, which they've defined as happy, but it doesn't mean that they were sad to begin with without the extra fats. But adding extra eggs and avocado also means you're adding in a seemingly high amount of fat and calories to your diet, which can put you into a surplus over time, which will cause fat gain and could lead to metabolic health issues if it's excessive. I am all for nutrient density and consuming foods like eggs and avocado or having more protein and fiber in your diet. There's a lot more to nutrition than simply counting calories. But we can't go the other direction when we're looking at manipulating body composition and health and completely ignore energy intake. All this does is it winds up giving us these ever-expanding lists of good foods versus bad foods based on an extremely unscientific variable of blood glucose changes, which is turning something that's completely normal in the body into something that you need to start stressing about. Improving your health and body composition should be multifaceted. It's about physical activity, it's about energy balance, it's about managing stress and sleep. In some instances, like for diabetics and maybe women with PCOS, it will include monitoring your blood sugar levels. But for everybody else, it's not necessary. So don't buy into the bullshit science that's being promoted here. Save your money, save your mental anxiety about worrying about where your blood sugar levels are at after a meal or exercise, and focus on the important stuff. To learn more about the mistakes that I've made and how I seriously messed up my own fat loss diet in the past, check out this video here.